So here in the Balkans, uh, we have a large population of Roma. Roma have come so at some point in history from India and they have been always a low caste people and they're disenfranchised, they're looked down upon, uh, discriminated. We often uh, see them being in very, very poor conditions. These are actually the poorest people in Europe and uh, they grow up in miserable places and uh, with chronic diseases. So it's not enough just to hear the gospel of salvation. They need to hear the gospel of the kingdom, meaning God's rule can enter their lives and things can change. So there is a phrase, people say the gospel lifts. And in many places we haven't seen that yet. So we're thinking, why hasn't the gospel lifted them yet? Uh, the reason why that didn't happen is because often we only preach the gospel of salvation. Come to Christ and you're saved. Yes, but that's the beginning point. And then we have to take it a step further and have to adapt a biblical world view of work, of how we treat one another, how we treat the soil, how we work and so on. And um, what we're doing here is empowering the poor to uh, work in a dignified way and earn their own living. It's not just going and giving to people, that's keep, keeping them actually in bondage and in dependency, but by empowering them and seeing what gifts are given or laid into their lives, we actually equip them for a lifetime to go on and we hope that the next generation will start at a higher level and then again leave this earth to a next generation that then will start at a higher level and throughout the generations we believe we will see change. Our goal is always to have these places self-sustaining. And in this particular hub, we started to, uh, a lot of agricultural uh, work. We planted almond trees, fruit trees, we have lots of berries, and we've been uh, studying what kind of berries are really healthy for, uh, for people, because we believe God has put a lot of good stuff into his nature. And actually, the way we eat uh, will determine how we feel. And so we want to put in good stuff, rather this processed bad stuff that is sold. We bump into people here, especially in poor areas, uh, where people eat processed food and basically poison themselves. Uh, the number of diabetic people is rampant. Often we get asked to pray for people who are sick, and you can trace it back to the way they uh, treat their bodies by just putting in bad food. So we want to build the kingdom by offering good food and show them that God has already given so much good stuff and it all grows from his soil. And then we work with the people together here and empower them so we show them that they can do the same thing. Uh, reproducibility is the key word. Everything we do needs to be reproducible by the people, by the locals here. And so we're trying to find simple solutions to certain problems they have. And um, we have also animals that we're growing here. These animals are grass-fed and uh, produce good meat. And uh, that's the way we believe that we will have a healthy balance and show people how they can uh, have an income on the soil that they live.